In this video, we're going to talk about programming errors and dealing with errors. So there are two kinds of errors in programming, syntax errors and logical or runtime errors. Syntax errors are the mistakes in the code where you make a typing mistake. For example, you use a small letter where you should have used a capital letter or where you leave out the semicolon at the end of a line. So I'm going to show you a few examples and you can see um, how Visual Studio points them out and how you can correct them. So if we go to the code, um, I'm just going to add another line here which says this um, text is equal to blue and the semicolon. So what this line of code does is it changes the text property of the form, you see this is the form, so the text property of the form is changed to blue. So if I now run the program, I just want to show you what it does. If I click on blue, the background changed to blue, but the text property they also changed to blue. Okay, so that is what that line of code does. There are no errors in the code yet, so I'm going to just make some errors deliberately so that you can see what happens. So suppose we do that. Um, so immediately Visual Studio picks up that there's an error. So if I now hover with the mouse pointer over that word blue where the red squiggly line is, it says the name blue does not exist in the current context. So that is relatively vague but at least you know there's something wrong with that so then you can think to yourself oh i should have placed color before that okay okay in here as well you will see form one does not contain a definition for text and no extension method text accepting for the first argument so what it basically says is a form doesn't have a thing like text like this but you know the form has a text property and then you should realize, okay, but I made a spelling mistake. It should be text with a capital letter. Similarly, if we delete the semicolon, a squiggly line will appear there. And if you um, place over there, your mouse over that, you will see semicolon expected there at the bottom of that box. Okay, so these are all syntax errors. They will also be listed over here. So if I try to run the program, okay, it says there were bold errors. Would you like to continue? We say no. The error will be appear at the bottom here. It will say um, semicolon expected. And if you go to the right, it will even tell you in which line. So if you double click on that, it will take you directly to the error. Okay, so we can fix it again like that. Okay, let's just try another one. So if I say back color there with a small letter, a squiggly line appears, so immediately we know there's an error. But if we still try and run the program, okay, we say no, we don't want to continue. Then it gives you the error down here, and you can go double click on the line number and it'll take you to the error. At this stage, you only have two lines of code, so it's very easy to see where the error is. But if you have lots of lines of code, then this is very helpful to make you go to the error. Okay, so these are all syntax errors. The second type of error that we will discuss are runtime errors or logic errors. They are slightly more difficult to locate uh, because Visual Studio don't indicate them to you. To Visual Studio, to C Sharp, or to the compiler, the program will look fine, and when you run it, things will go wrong. You will get the wrong output. Okay, so let's just look at an example. Suppose I run this program. Okay, it says blue. I click the blue button, and the form turns blue. But the text at the top there says red. That's obviously a mistake. It should say blue. Why does that happen? So now we have to go back to our code to find the error. 
and here it is. I was a bit sneaky, so I changed it when you weren't looking. Um, so here I have to change it to blue. So there was no no problem with the syntax. It was just a logic error. Okay. Right. So if I run it now, it is blue. As we go along through the course, you will see more complicated logic errors. Um, and big part of programming is to debug, debug your program to find those logic errors.